Okay, so in this demonstration, I want to show how I would go about changing the position of that tab in relation to the needle and seat which is below it. What we can do is get a screwdriver, <coughs> excuse me, and, and push that tab down. We can just simply bend it. So you can hold the floats in position and lever against that top section there, which is quite, uh, quite structural, and you can lever that tab down. Once the tab's lowered, you can then recheck the fuel level. If you've gone too far, you can get a screwdriver and very easily get up and lever against the axle, this axle here, and you can lever the tab back up. Once you've made the adjustment to the float level, you can then put the bowl back on. Just put the clip on a little bit, not too far. That should be enough to hold it. And then again, squeeze some fuel in there. Now don't over, over squeeze because we don't want the carburetor to flood. We want to get a true indication of the float level. So you just apply a, apply a little bit of pressure on the squeeze bottle until after about 20 seconds or so, the, um, the float chamber should be full. Now what we'll do is hold the carburetor level and we'll remove that clip and very carefully remove the bowl and observe the float level. Now I can see now that that float level is too low. I've over adjusted the tab. That float level, that fuel level inside the float bowl should be up around about two thirds, certainly above the halfway line. And in this instance, I'm below the halfway line. So I'll make a readjustment and check again.